Welcome to the World of the Cosby Show, a timeless TV series that has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. What enduring qualities do you think make this show an everlasting symbol of the industry? As we delve into the series, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions from laughter to shock to moments that tug at your heartstrings. This classic sitcom, known for its humor and relatable family dynamics, has more to offer than meets the eye. The Cosby Show has become a cultural touchstone, transcending generations with its witty dialogue and memorable characters. Whether you're revisiting it or discovering it for the first time, there's a lot in store. Ever wondered what makes this series stand the test of time? Stick around for some surprising, funny, and even sad facts about The Cosby Show. The journey through the Huxtable family's ups and downs is bound to keep you hooked. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? We'd love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to The Cosby Show. Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. Your connection to the show adds another layer to its rich history. Get ready for an exploration of one of television's iconic shows a journey filled with laughter, surprises, and touching moments. Keep watching for the funny, shocking, and sad facts that lie ahead. Your memories are a vital part of this experience, so don't hesitate to join the conversation below. What enduring qualities do you think make this TV series an everlasting symbol of the industry? Do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Get ready for a trip down memory lane. Step into the world of The Cosby Show, a groundbreaking TV series that first premiered in 1984, forever altering the landscape of family sitcoms. This timeless show, created by Bill Cosby, introduces us to the Huxtable family residing in a brownstone in Brooklyn Heights. The series portrays the everyday life of an upper-middle-class African-American family, providing a refreshing and relatable perspective. At its core, the show revolves around Dr. Heathcliff Huxtable, a wise and affable obstetrician, and his wife Claire, an intelligent and assertive attorney. Together, they navigate the joys and challenges of raising their five children Sandra, Denise, Theo, Vanessa, and Rudy. Each character brings a unique flavor to the narrative, making the Huxtable household a vibrant and dynamic space filled with laughter, love, and life lessons. The Cosby Show stands out for its ability to blend humor with meaningful storytelling. The family dynamics and the Huxtable children's coming-of-age journeys are not only entertaining but also thought-provoking. The show skillfully addresses societal issues while maintaining a light-hearted and comedic tone. Throughout its run, The Cosby Show achieved remarkable success, becoming a cultural touchstone. It broke new ground by presenting a positive portrayal of an African-American family, challenging stereotypes and resonating with audiences across racial and cultural backgrounds. The series garnered critical acclaim and numerous awards, including Emmys and Golden Globes, solidifying its place in television history. One of the show's key milestones is its impact on the representation of African-American families in the media. The Cosby Show not only shattered preconceived notions, but also paved the way for more diverse and inclusive storytelling in television. In addition to its cultural significance, the series showcased the comedic genius of Bill Cosby and the talented ensemble cast. The chemistry between the actors, coupled with sharp writing, contributed to the show's enduring appeal. Whether you're revisiting the Huxtable family's adventures or discovering them for the first time, The Cosby Show remains a timeless classic. Its legacy extends beyond entertainment, leaving an indelible mark on the TV landscape and opening doors for more inclusive narratives. In 1984, when The Cosby Show debuted, it not only redefined family sitcoms, but also left a lasting mark on TV, movies, and media. The show featured an upper-middle-class African-American family, challenging norms, and influencing future entertainment. In family-oriented storytelling, The Cosby Show stood out for its authenticity. Unlike other shows at the time that often portrayed idealized or stereotypical families, this series showcased the relatable yet aspirational Huxtable family. Its impact on how African-American families were depicted in the media was significant, breaking stereotypes and opening doors for more inclusive stories. While other shows of that era were notable, none quite matched The Cosby Show's ability to seamlessly blend humor with meaningful storytelling. The cast, led by the comedic talent of Bill Cosby, created a unique chemistry that set the series apart. This combination not only entertained, but also addressed societal issues with a light-hearted touch. 
As the show's influence spread through the entertainment landscape, subsequent TV shows started incorporating more diverse and authentic portrayals of families. The Cosby Show's influence goes beyond just humor and charm. It served as a trailblazer advocating for representation and inclusivity in storytelling. While other shows may have gained attention for different reasons, The Cosby Show's enduring appeal lies in its ability to captivate audiences with genuine family dynamics and humor that spans generations. Its influence can be seen in the evolution of television narratives showcasing a broader range of family experiences. In conclusion, The Cosby Show's impact on subsequent TV shows, movies, and media is undeniable. The portrayal of the Huxtable family set a new standard, pushing the industry to embrace more diverse and authentic storytelling. The echoes of its influence continue to resonate, reminding us of the timeless and transformative power of genuine representation and entertainment. During its peak, sitcoms were struggling, but The Cosby Show brought new energy to the genre, making it popular again. The Huxtable family not only entertained people, but also inspired the creation of many more sitcoms, bringing life back to a fading style of TV shows. In the fourth season, the show took a musical turn with Bobby McFerrin performing the theme song. He later became famous for the song Don't Worry, Be Happy. This unexpected connection show would that The Cosby Show had diverse talents, not just in TV, but also in the music industry. Surprisingly, Adam Sandler appeared in four episodes as Theo's friend. When asked about any issues on set, Sandler said he didn't know about any. His short time on the show gives us a glimpse of how influential The Cosby Show was, even for future comedy stars. Peter Costa, portraying Huxtable Neighbor, and Rue Dee's playmate Peter faced stage fright, frequently forgetting lines. Consequently, his character communicated through facial expressions, always bolting at the first sign of trouble. In November 2008, the New York Times disclosed that Bill Cosby donated 16,000 to UMass Amherst's Sut Jally in the mid-1990s for a study on the show's appeal to both white and black viewers. Jally's resulting book, Enlightened Racism, The Cosby Show, Audiences, and the Myth of the American Dream, criticized the series, asserting Cosby's funding did not bias the study. Earl Hyman, Cliff's father, was 11 years older than Bill Cosby. Ethel Ayler, cast as Claire's mother, outstripped Felicia Rushod's age by 14 years. During the fourth season, The Cosby Show adopted a musical twist with Bobby McFerrin performing the theme song, foreshadowing his later fame with Don't Worry, Be Happy. Adam Sandler, in a surprising stint, appeared in four episodes as Theo's friend, showcasing the show's influence on future comedy stars. The Cosby Show brought an interesting dynamic through Rudy's friend Kenny, whose brother remained conspicuously absent from the screen, sparking curiosity among viewers. Bill Cosby's insistence on filming in New York City added an authentic urban backdrop to the Huxtable family's everyday life. In an interesting twist, Joseph C. Phillips, cast as Denise's husband, had previously appeared in an episode as one of Sandra's boyfriends. This casting choice added a layer of familiarity for keen-eyed viewers, showcasing the interconnectedness within the series. The show's influence expanded beyond the screen with unexpected connections in the music industry. Bobby McFerrin's rendition of the theme song in the fourth season marked a musical departure for The Cosby Show, foreshadowing his later fame with the track Don't Worry, Be Happy. Additionally, Adam Sandler's brief but notable stint as Theo's friend highlighted the show's impact on shaping the careers of future comedy stars. Peter Costa, who portrayed Rue Dee's playmate, faced stage fright, turning an obstacle into a unique character trait. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, Cosby's donation for a study on the show's appeal to both white and black viewers sparked controversy, as detailed in Sut Jally's book, Enlightened Racism, The Cosby Show, Audiences, and the Myth of the American Dream. Earl Hyman, playing Cliff's father, and Ethel Ayler, cast as Claire's mother, brought an interesting age dynamic to the show, with Hyman being 11 years older than Bill Cosby, and Ayler surpassing Felicia Rushad's age by 14 years. As the series continued to evolve, it left a lasting mark, not just for its on-screen presence, but also for unexpected connections, controversies, and broader cultural influence. The threads of the show's narrative, both in front of and behind the camera, contributed to its lasting significance.